So guys, uh, Cody Fire TV right now bringing you a video on uh, the new Fire TV Stick 2, how it runs. We set this up already with our Cody Fire build. And it is, keep in mind, a uh, quad core processor this time around. So um, it does feel a little snappy, but quite not there because due to the RAM, I think um, the one gigabyte RAM could be better. I don't know if it's just something that they don't want to, um, other than the process of doing, or it's just how it, they're built. But uh, let's get right to it. So you click on, bear with me here, I'm doing this with one hand. So it is a, uh, like I said, a quad core this time around. And, uh, I'm just kind of trying to see how it, if it really makes a difference being a quad core instead of a dual core because of all the uh, the GPU that it uses or you know the encoding etc. So this is supposed to be able to do 4K now this time around and um, kind of I guess it's not supposed to uh, really lag a lot. So let's check out a few videos here. So a few movies. This is Cody Fire S. Try this right now. So can't wait for Rogue One. By the way, next I think it's next month. And right now, like I said, I clicked on the menu item, so it is kind of thinking that it did take a little while, but not as long as the previous model. But it still kind of hangs in there, and that's what I do not like about the Fire TV sticks. That's why I kind of kept away from them for a while and um, prefer the boxes. And it could be our add-on, I mean, our, or our build, but for sure, let's try Exodus. Exodus has a lot of stuff. And right off the back, you are showing that, um, that missing content. Everything is linked in our, in our build. So see, it took like a really long time. Right now, oh, it's barely full. I did yes movies prior and then i did exodus so it, it took a really really long time um, i can't say that it's just a um the build or it is the fire tv sticks let's do some further testing here we'll do uh recently added movies this is the yes movie uh movies and uh and cody the add-on and we are on wi-fi it is a five uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi connection here and it's not that far it's actually only a few feet away so and again so I mean I'll, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people they do prefer or they want to go to the um, the fire TV stick route versus the box because the box is too expensive but then you pretty much you get what you pay for and this is kind of showing a lot of older movies. Uh, it's not about the movie co content right now. It's about how fast it integrates with this uh, other build, or build in general. So that kind of played right now. Let me skip right ahead. Okay, it's, it's looking pretty good. It's loading. Okay, it's not bad. The quality looks okay. Uh, let's go back here. By the way, if you can see this, this is the remote right here. Um, Pretty much the same thing, but like now I guess you can do the Alexa voice search. Go back again, back again. And let's try, let's see what it, how it does with the HD content. And uh, again, I press the category. It is taking a few minutes to load. Well, Sometimes load this is a more power add-on, and they do all the HD content. Let's try this Batman uh, right here, Bad Blood. Click on it. Now oh, there goes that annoying uh, pair. If you guys have seen this, uh, it's very popular right now in the um, in Cody. Um, especially amongst uh, like say the erotic uh, adult add-on 
it wants you to pair with uh, the link. I'm not near a computer right now, and for like uh, video purposes, I don't want to go through the whole process right now. But supposedly, once you do that, it'll um, it should play your content. We'll try this one right now. See if that makes a difference here. And is it gonna play? It's showing uh, this link right here. And instead of the pigeons, <laughs> they were having the pigeon problem with open load. Now they're, it's uh, you got to pair. But I haven't tried it. I guess once you pair your device, it'll automatically ship play. So, okay, this is showing that it is uh, 1080. Back up again. Okay, so this plane skipping. What I'm about skipping, I'm like kind of jumping up ahead. not bad so it does play again I I'm trying to load from our build I don't know if there's just like uh, the time in the build or or the links what's causing um, things to not load right away versus the box but then again the box has more RAM and uh, I'm not a, I'm not gonna say like a similar process processor but it is a quad core Let's kind of go through here. Let's try the TV shows. Let's go here. We'll see how those load right now. Uh, let's try this one. This is under the spec though. You click here. And upon the click, like I said, it's still showing that it's under the more power uh, add-on but we are we're actually like in a different add-on so we're in a spec though so it does take a little longer to I guess to kind of go through the um, the different add-ons recognize where it's pulling from at the moment and um, but it, in a sense it is faster than the, you know its predecessor so the Fire TV stick. So this is the Gen 2 that just came out recently. Maybe, I don't know if Wi-Fi is a huge factor or uh, other stuff. I mean, we could have done this test on the regular, like say, Fusion uh, trial. But I mean, it does handle it pretty good. Like I said, if you can just bear with it, the time as far as loading it, and it does handle uh, the playback pretty pretty well not bad at all it doesn't really cut out so I mean uh, I guess the quad core does help in that sense and that is the HD content so uh, overall I mean like it it's doing it pretty good this is our build so I, I have not tested this on another build um, like a big build maybe like the beast and uh, whatever other ones are out there that are like pretty big as far as you know, um, they would be considered heavy for Fire TV sticks, or um, you know, even any other light builds. But this hour build is more um, gears toward uh, universal like boxes and and so on. So, but like pretty much like I said, just scrolling through here, um, it does show that it is pretty responsive. It does not have an issue, but upon a click it does take a few seconds to load the actual content so um that's probably like what people get kind of turned off on i know i have a lot of clients uh that are like hey what's going on it's taking a while but you gotta be patient but it is i would say probably like a few seconds faster than um the, the original one just kind of go to the program section right now and uh let's see here We'll click on the maintenance tool. So yeah, I mean, press and everything loads things right uh, correctly. It just takes a few seconds, uh, but not as long as the the original one. Um, so for the same price point with it, which I think right now it is thirty nine dollars. Yeah, I mean, there, you definitely have to upgrade to this one versus the original one. Yeah, if you get your hands on it, uh, let us know what you think. Like I said, this is just a testing it on our build, the Cody Fire build, and um, the Fire TV Stick Gen 2. So let us know what you think. Be sure to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and until next time, I'll catch you on the next video.